Hello and welcome back to this edition of Daily Actives brought to you by Bootleg Macro. I am Dustin and we are taking a look at Tesla once again. One of the most interesting things about Tesla that I can say right now in all honesty has been the change in transition from very, very bullish to at least somewhat sideways and now potentially to bearish. When we're looking at the price action of Tesla recently, what we can see is that Today, we are down to $242.65. We're down another 1.10% over one day, 4.44% over five days, 6 plus percent over 15 days, and 13 plus percent over one month. I mean, it has been bad ever since you essentially saw all the way across the rolling return just go negative on from the one day to the one month at 261. It's been nothing but bad ever since. We do have on the Tesla signal here, we do have on the short term go short intermediate term go short and longer term go short and across the board in terms of trend we are bearish <laughs> short term intermediate term and longer term we can see that if we're looking at the rolling sentiment here we do have what is considered to be based on the way i calculated it a falling bear it looks like we are seeing a little bit of bullishness on the short end of the behavior but not really much it's either flatlining or hopefully bottoming if you look at the 10-day rolling uh, bullish return we're down at 39 percent that's usually the lowest that it can go is mid 30s low 30s is probably the lowest um it never will hit the 20s so you would expect it to stochastically bounce off of this right it's going to be like a yo-yo it wants to get around 50 percent overall right now we're at 39 so we've got some work that we could do to just get even more back to neutral we're going to take a look at the signals i don't see anything right now the bear key three that i look at or the bull key three there's nothing that counts there's no new signals that are hitting we did just get done with a big bear and a small bear which makes sense we've seen some very bad action i guess there's a small bear today but there is not a key three to support it i'd like to see at least a, at least a plus one to be able to support any of these signals so when we look at it things have definitely changed but we may be hitting possibly a transition the chart of tesla today it's the, the concern that you would have to say is that your low volatility <laughs> bearish trend, low volatility trends, no matter what you think about them, they're generally how the actual trend is. Because low volatility means that like when the market isn't even having a catalyst moment, it can just move. It just has a flow to it. And that flow right now for Tesla is kind of negative. I mean, it has ever been since ever since it looks like the end of June. I mean, June 21st, that was the day. At least that was the peak before we started this transition down to bearishness. We are at least at around 50%. We look at the volume. Volume, at least it's not breaking out while falling. That's positive. The volatility continues to break out on Tesla, um, which means that you do continue to see downside associated with the action. We do now have the correlation starting to roll over, it looks like, which if that continues to roll over as the volatility breaks out, that'll be pretty bad. Because if you have the volatility breaking out and the correlation is breaking down, then it's going to, the higher it goes, the lower the price is going to go. Well, when we look at the trading range, this is not terrible. I mean, the, the thing is, is that the bottom of the range is starting to curl down. You're seeing the curl down. That's not great. I mean, even on the weekly, which this isn't even updated through today, but obviously we're lower than 253. We're probably going to be somewhere in here. You still have so much more to give back because the movement test has been so aggressive over the past few weeks. So when we look even at the ultra fast, the one benefit that we could say, just like we're talking about, is that at the short end of the bullishness, it does look like it is starting to kind of flatline, which is very positive because you do want to see kind of flatlining here. Remember, it was at 41% in May or 41% in March. You had some nice little rallies or in 2023 at the very beginning in January, when it was at 100 bucks, it was at 36%. We're at 45 you know, we, 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 we don't have a lot of downside that we could really fulfill, but we do have some upside that we could definitely see. We just really want to get past that 15-day uh, moving average of bullishness. And then once we do, probably brighter days ahead. But tell me what you think in the comments below. Are you long or are you short? Do you like it? Do you love it? Is this even a good review? And before you go, subscribe to the New High Newsletter. We give you 25 stocks to your inbox every single Sunday. Go get yourself some. I'll talk to you soon.